And action. Uh, do we got D camera? No. He's nuts. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> How you doing? Doing well. I'm doing way to start it off with the D's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like something I just made off the rip. I must say I'm a big fan. What is your definition of a fan, if you must say? Uh, something that moves air. Mm-hmm. So when people say I'm a big fan, what do you think instantly when you hear it? Man, they must move a lot of air. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's hard to see you right now. It's not the first time I've gotten that. Mm-hmm. So, I must ask, the move FU, yes. what do FU stand for? Well, um, you know, your, your interpretation could be whatever it needs to be. Mine was simply for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you did that move on a lot of people. Yes, with, with that sort of intent. Like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. But it got switched uh, mm -hmm. to the uh, to the AA, the attitude adjustment, which is a little more. I never knew about that. That's OK. Mm -hmm. It's all right. But you knew about the FU. Yeah. So at least we can start somewhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. The evolution of that move eventually uh, evolved itself into the attitude adjustment. So where did your outfit come from? Like the attire with the shorts, no shirt. What was it? Um, I didn't want to wrestle in the standard wrestling gear, like uh, spandex tights and leather calf high boots. So I wanted to wear sneakers and shorts. Mm -hmm. I must say you done done a lot of movies. And this is one of my favorite movies that you're done. I thought you were going to say this is the latest. Oh, oh thank you. What, is, what do we have here? Thank you. I appreciate that. This yeah. is Malibu's Most Wanted, right? Yeah, that was one of your classics. Hmm. Um, I, I'm a big fan of, of giving accolades where they're due, and I'm also a big fan of respect. This possibly could be a photoshopped image. Um, I, I, I was a huge fan of Malibu's Most Wanted, so I That's mean, not true. it's uh, unfortunately, this is not, I mean, this is me, this is my face, but unfortunately this is not, I was not in that movie. But it's a, a you know, a misconception I'm willing, to, I'm willing to digest, that's fine. It's a pretty good pick. Oh, shit. yeah, sure. I thought you were, I thought it was a gift. So that's where I thought the wardrobe came from. The wardrobe? Yeah, because it was just your always wardrobe style. Uh, I think the origins of it were, were kind of down the lane of, of a Malibu's most wanted sort of vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although that was not me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Ryan, AKA Stacky. Sticky? Stacky? Ryan Stacky. Ryan Stacky. Ryan Stacky? Mm hmm I feel like it's a character that you're playing of who you always been and who you are in real life. A character that no one sees and hear about. And you step in a row with somebody else and we already don't even see you. That makes sense. I think what I'm hearing is you're referring to Ricky Stanicki. Right. Ricky Stanicki. Correct. Correct. Okay. Uh, that's an interesting perspective. Not too far-fetched. Yeah, a guy playing an imaginary friend who becomes real but still can't be seen. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, Which pretty, was like, it's pretty close to the vest. I, I, they kind of took the role of John Cena it's and put cool. him in a different name. Ricky Stanicki. Exactly. And not Ryan Stacky. Exactly. He's... We don't have to put him in the line of fire here. So right. Think Rand Stack, he might be a good man. Right. For all we know. But the thing is, when you, you, you came and took that role, how was it? Was it you being you or you was actually trying to paint to be someone else? Because you already, we don't know who you are. We know you're there, but we know you're not there. But do we know who you are? <laughs> I didn't mean to get deep, but I kind of did. It really was deep. I kind of did. He did. Yeah. So. Like getting uh, deep. Question. Yeah. Bunny Marco prize pick scene two take six. Hello world. I want to introduce you to prize pick. You download this app. You can pick your favorite players from any sports. 
Even from Call of Duty, you pick more or less, and what you put in, you will receive. Don't forget to put Funny Marco. You put up 100, you'll get 100. What does WWE stand for? Uh, World Wrestling Entertainment. What do EBT stand for? EBT? Um, I, I don't know. What does EBT stand for? And excuse my ignorance. I'm so, uh, my apologies. What does EBT stand for? Eat better today. Eat better today. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross-reference that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever bought EBT before? I've not. I've not. Have you? My mama used to sell them. She got them for us. And she had, she gave, paid us and then she sold the rest. Understood. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. we got them. Take your time. I'm, I'm, uh... No, we'll work it out in the edit. You guys are good. Crazy part is we leave the whole thing in there. I mean, choices, right? Sometimes the power of the ball. When you was wrestling, who was the hardest person? You was like, they overdid it sometimes. Or it was like, okay. Like, you're overdoing it. I've been known to overdo it a little bit. You was the one? I'm, it might have been me. You got a lot of complaints? Well, you asked me who I thought was mm -hmm. the most one that overdid it. In, in my opinion, it might be me. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, somehow my face got pasted on Malibu's most wanted. I think I might have overdone it. Yeah. 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 Might have mm -hmm. overcooked the turkey a little bit on that one. That's right. Yeah. For me being a fan, I want to ask you, what was the match that you feel like broke you out? I said, okay, this this is the match that put me on the map. Versus The Rock, Stone Cold. Yeah, that's a good question. Mankind. Do you, uh, do you, do you have one that stands out? Uh, I, I like the one where you fought, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Hulk Hogan match. I feel like that was a big match that, that you did when you and him fought in the Hell in a Cell. Okay. He threw you over. Okay. You fell, hit the table, yeah. and that was like a big thing. You know, sometimes when we get involved in moments that make us feel emotional mm -hmm. uh we tend to to blur the specifics you know just uh we remember how we felt so uh, I'm, I'm glad that you were excited do you remember that match uh no not in the way you do mm -hmm. um not in the way you do mm -hmm. yeah did that match ever exist it did not okay i was trying to catch you on the lie <laughs> that, that's okay that's all right Sorry, right. I was I was trying to allow you your truth. Yeah. But now that we know he's not a liar, guys, I feel more comfortable talking to him. I you were I think you were doing just fine before. I thought you were real comfortable. Mm -hmm. Again, not really possible. So right here. <clears throat> I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division, but they gone fishing with no bat. Can't your boy hold weight? Let me run it back. Sure. I got the whole block wishing they could ruin my division. You know who said that? I did. What block are you from? Um, my block uh, isn't necessarily a block. It's just one street. So you was homeless? No, no. I'm from a very small town with... Mm -hmm. With close to one street, a few streets. So, so we didn't really have a block because that, like, it's a city block. So we didn't have a block. We just had like a street. That was part of your rap. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. So, what was this block name? I think it's a blanket statement rather than geotarging one block. Because if I only geotarget like one place, then all other blocks outside of that block don't want to run with my division. But I wanted to pass the impression that every block wishes they could run with my division. So it's kind of a blanket statement. If you want to be honest right now. Um, I mean, what, what's my answer? Do you, no, please lie to me. Of course, uh, I, of course. Cuss, can we cuss on this channel? Can we cuss? I don't know. Yes. This is my channel. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I already, I think I already dropped the fuck word. So I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think you're 
You think I'm bullshitting you? Yeah, because with the block thing, yeah. Like if I got a hold of anybody on this block, do they you would they really feel like they was wishing to run your division? Or would that cap be honest? Was that a lie? So I don't think it is. Uh it depends on whom you ask. Like if you were to get a specific block that maybe let's say had a lot of WWE fans. And you were to, or maybe aspiring WWE superstars, and you were to ask them at that time, 2006 to let's say 2015, hey, you want to do a little trading places swap? A little Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd? You know, the little one dollar bet. Where the hell every Eddie Murphy come from? Trading places. Oh. The movie where he trades places with Dan Aykroyd oh, to make a one dollar bet. I like that. That's my favorite song. My ask you a question, and this is just coming off the heart. Uh, sure. What is the song you have made love to? Like you like to play. What is a song that I have to make love to? Yeah. I like to listen to uh Pretty Ricky. Cool. Cool. I'm uh I'm a Or no music. No, no, I'm a pretty big Rage Against the Machine fan. Rage? Against the Machine. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> Do you like to hide from people? Do I like to hide from people? Yes. Uh I mean I, I think I built a career out of hiding for people, becoming invisible. So whether I choose to admit it or not, I think maybe I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you? Uh, it depends on I'm at the airport. Some people like to ask for pictures. Yeah. And I'll be like, why do you want to ask for pictures while we're at the airport? Because you got somewhere to go and I do too. It's like the weirdest place to ask. Also, one time I was at uh, my grandma's funeral. Somebody asked me for a picture there. I'm like, yo, I'm crying. It's like, well, when you get through crying, can I take one? And I was like, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I took one with him. It's, it's very empathetic of you. Yeah. I don't know what that word mean. It's very giving of you. Oh. Yeah. Using big words because you know I don't know what they mean. That is not true. Oh. <sighs> Why don't you like to post pictures on your page? Uh, can we, can you be a little more specific? You don't post pictures of you on your page so we can actually see you. What page? Instagram. Oh, yeah. Uh, cause I'm, you can't see me. Is it because you're running from child support? What I'm hearing is you're asking me if I don't post pictures of myself on Instagram because there's a theory that I'm running from uh, outstanding child support payments. That's what word on the street is from the block. Okay, well, uh, although I, I I don't even understand the origin of that story, that is, that's not true. Okay, this is the part where we're gonna put blur over his face and then make his deep voice, so we don't know who we're talking to. Sure, thank you. It's happening right now. Thank you for the anonymity, appreciate that. So, they can't see you right now. And also, it's going to be a deep voice. Yeah, like a um, computerized. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like when people go into a confession room. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for that. I've never been digitized and computerized before, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, it's not them. It's my... Uh... It's not them. It's no, not it's my partner. Them. Sorry, sorry. Uh, to whomever I have to thank. Yeah, that set camera right there. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the first time I've experienced this whole thing. So if you ever wanted to have a deep, sexy voice, you can say something right now into it, just to hear you say it when you look back at it. Macaroni and cheese. Do you know how to cook macaroni and cheese? No, I don't. Oh, wow. I don't. If you had ABT, you would have. I think those, yeah, you know, I just, I don't. You can remove the blur now. He's he removing it, you gotta sit still. Yes. Thank you. It's done. It's done? Yeah. Is the voice still deep, though? Oh, uh, yeah. Rem uh, remove that, too. Oh. Uh, we got 20 million followers. Uh, or wh whoever it is. Cool. And okay. you didn't even want to start an Instagram. So just because I was apprehensive to start something doesn't Another big word. Just because I didn't want to start something, which is right, correct, doesn't mean that I can't have passion for it now. Right. Yeah. So you have passion for it now. I do. Right. Yeah.
is wrestling you get this question a lot asked and i know it's like a most irritating question and you just be like why do people ask but guess what i'm gonna ask is wrestling fake that is the first time i've heard that oh question and that uh man i gotta look inward on that one um could you be more specific uh because i watched it you know he was my favorite wrestler and i used to remember going to school I told my teacher, Ms. Bennett, I was watching wrestling, and John Cena was one of my most favorite wrestlers. So that's fake. And I was just like, it's not fake because it's actually happening. Something fake is not actually, you know, like as if like that's a fake cake because it's plastic, but it's pretending to be a cake. But wrestling is actually physical touch where you can get F you, meaning fuck you, by you. If that makes sense, I hope that I don't get tied up. But in the end, physically, it's it's a physical sport. Mm, so I guess we need to we need to settle on our definition of fake. So right. let's let's do that. To you, what what is fake? I feel like fake is something as if it's portraying to be something else that is not. Hmm. And it's like wrestling is a thing. Okay, well then, by that definition, wrestling is not fake right. because it is what it says it is. It mm -hmm. is sports entertainment. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Uh, what's your idea of the hood? Uh, it is that device on the back of a sweatshirt that you can pull over your head to warm your ears and the back of your neck. Okay. Now you can ask me. Would you like that? Would you like me to ask you? Yes, sir. What is your idea of the hood? Oh, wow. Didn't think you would ask. Uh, somewhere where roaches, rats, uh, crackheads, babies, baby mamas, baby daddies, pistols, guns, cars that shouldn't be there, stolen cars, stolen devices, and it's all in one projects slash hood. Did I uh, forget the roaches too? No. Also, you... EBT is also in there. Okay. So which hood would you like to take? My hood or your hood? Mine mine seems a lot less interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Which one would you like to take? The one you say? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can get one of those for you. Uh oh, Vibe Check. This is the Vibe Check part. You can look at one of the cameras and just vibe, just vibe it. Whichever one. Just don't look at my camera. Which one's your camera? I'm the one I'm looking at. That one? You're okay. looking at it. Don't look at that one. No, don't. No please. Problem. So, well, you shouldn't have said that. Can't, uh, it's tough. I'll, I'll try this one. How you feeling doing a vibe show? I can't stop looking at your camera. I know. Son of a bitch. Oh man, thank you guys for watching Bob Check and we're back. How did you feel after the Bob Check? How do you feel? Man, it was uh, focused. Yeah. It was, I was focused. Yeah. And you? That was the vibe. I feel sexy, you know? You look great. Yeah, thank you. I goes for you. look sexy? Yeah. Too bad I'm not your type. Uh, I, if, I was not, ask I you, if I was to ask you a question, mm -hmm. what is the difference from been in the entertainment wrestling and versus shooting movies? Hmm. That's a good question, Marco. That is a great question. So I was talking to me. Okay. I was I was also talking to you. We were talking to you. Yeah. We agreed. Me. Me, you, me, you, I and me, I you, was, you. I was also talk I was talking to you. Yeah. 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 I think one is live as it happens and the other one is a little bit more patient. Mm. It's not, no, they're kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. What is the longest movie set you've been on? Like from all the projects you shot, it's like, whoa, this is really good. Six, six and a half months? Ooh, that's long. What's the longest interview you've been on? I just want to know how much time you've lived. Uh, whoa, that's a good question. The longest ones I've been on was with, uh, 
What's his name? You familiar with him? Uh, taking a little nap so I can make this the longest one. Yeah. Thank you. You got it. How much time do you think you need? Well, on a nap? Yeah. Oh, you just ruined it. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry. Well, welcome back. I want to show you something. Uh, sure. And this is the album cover. And this is my sister album cover. Cool. And yeah, if you can mind reading the album, that'll be fine. Okay. Let's... Uh... Do you want me to read the album cover? The album? Uh, the album is from an artist named Kia, and the title is My Neck, My Back, and in parentheses, Lick It, with a parental advisory in the lower right-hand corner. You want it back? Yeah. Okay, cool, man. So that's, that's, how you heard of it? No. Nope. Never heard the song before. Never heard. Because it's something that happened in wrestling, you know, your neck and your back. When you used to F you people, guess what you used to hurt? Neck and back. Probably, yeah. So. That song was written about uh, my wrestling moves? Yeah, and I actually feel like this will be a great feature with you being on it. Okay. Uh, again, this is somehow my face has gotten on here. Uh, Kia, my neck, my back, the Dennis 7 remix. Um, well, you know what I say? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Try anything a few times, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can't say here that it won't, it won't work because we don't mm -hmm. know. Are you done rapping? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. It's a, it's a skill I've not used in a long time. Yeah. You made one song and went platinum. Uh, correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. What is on your mind as we speak? Um, you are quite an interesting interviewer. Mm. Am I doing good? I think you're doing spectacular. Yeah. I did Kevin Hart and he was like, is this shit real? I can see why he would say that. What do you mean? Um, I thought you was having fun. I didn't say I wasn't having fun. I said oh. you're a very interesting interviewer. Mm. But I can see why Kevin Hart might say, is this shit real question mark? Mm. Yeah. I was born in 1993. Mm -hmm. I went to high school at 2005, mm -hmm. and I graduated 2020, what, 2000, 2019. 2019. And I got out of college in 2000, what's that? Like two, what, six months ago. And they, uh, I got a scholarship to go to college. Congratulations on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what they, they gave me, what I think that was, I turned down the offer, what I think it was like, they was trying to just give me like 40,000. So, cause I was going to be a dentist, but I was like, that's not, that's not what I want to do. Okay. What did you choose to do? Uh, this. So I'm a journal, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Understood. So I do research on people like you and I get to sit down with them. Yeah. So, and the and things that I did look up about you that you, okay. I know one thing you was, you, you choose to be homeless. You stayed in your car. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to, but okay. you did it to put more pressure on yourself. Yeah. And. Mm. You worked at 7-Eleven, you got fired. Uh, okay. I mean, again, so how you felt, not really the same. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah what are you sure. saying? Are you saying that I'm lying or what? Uh, again, hey, let's get let's get to the Jewy middle. Let's, let's, let's okay. get to, let's let's get to the nugget. The 7-Eleven part, you got fired. And then as you really didn't want to be a wrestler, he did not really want to be a wrestler, but he ended up, you know, getting a taste of it. And he was like, oh, this is not bad. This is something that... I never knew I'd be into it because you used to fish part time. You used to fish part time and get paid and you used to bring the fish to a store and somebody used to buy the fish from you. Old lady named, uh, oh, it's hard to say her name. You said it too. Witcher, Witcher, I don't know. It's Tarder W. And the fish that you used to bring, she used to buy the fish from you. And you really got out of that field. And when you got into wrestling, you started off making $500 on your first match. And then you signed your first contract for $1,000 and it kept going up from $1,000 to 
to 1500, 2000. And that's when you end up getting a big old deal, you know? And then from wrestling, you know, expanded your brand. And this is your first movie right here that we are promoting today. And I did all my research. I've been staying up for like two weeks straight, getting all this together. I appreciate that. So I feel like I know you. And you know what? I feel like we're we're bonding. Mm -hmm. After after every statement you make, you you, you got the the path right. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like I say any lies in that, just blink. So the whole interview, you cannot blink because they're gonna think I'm lying. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I can't do it. Wow. So <laughs> <I'm> trying, <laughs> wow. Trying to hold out for you, bud. <laughs> Try. So I'm a liar. <laughs> the best I could. Yeah. Just, I just think you, uh, you got maybe caught up in some of the details. It's fair. Happens. Happens. Favorite part of the movie that you feel like this was fun shooting. I got to piss. That? I got to piss myself. Huh? I got to piss myself. That was my favorite part. I got to wear gray sweatpants and just let loose and just pee myself. That was my favorite part. So I want, all right, so I want you to just say I got to piss, like I pissed myself. You just say that one, two, three. Yeah, sure. My favorite part of Ricky's. No, don't, don't say the favorite part. Just say I pissed myself. This one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, and then say I pissed myself. But I don't know because I want to make sure that I'm answering your question. No, no, no. If you could just say that for me, that's it. Just say I pissed myself. Well, you know, technically, if you watch, you'll understand. No, no, no. Can you just say I pissed myself? Well, I All right, look, just say it with me. Hey, guys. Oh, that's funny, Marco. I pissed myself. You know, I am good for two or three of those a year. Uh, I. I would need a little bit more time to think that one through. What, we can, we can, we can come back to it. Okay. So what is your favorite movie part again? Favorite part in this movie? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely the end. No, no. What'd you say before that? I don't know. No, about I pissed myself. You did? No, you said that in the movie. That's what you did. What happened? No, you pissed. Okay. But you said you pissed on yourself. When? Okay, what I was trying to do is just catch that bite and I was gonna edit it where you just say you pissed yourself. Oh, okay. so I'm trying to So you want like like a like a meme thing? Like yeah. A, I pissed myself. But don't don't look into the camera. Okay, so like here? Is this Yeah, one? look at me. I pissed myself. Oh wow. Right here? No. A long time ago when you was wrestling. When that was it? Maybe maybe a year ago. Good, that was good. Oh, Who's your most famous person contact in your phone? Ooh, uh, I would I would have to have my phone to examine that. I don't. Where is it at? It's not here. Oh wow. So if you take a guess, my mom. Oh. Uh, -huh. uh, Ty, my wife. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what about someone famous that we will know? That's no. Huh? Not a person. You have no white number? I I have a few. My brother. My other brother. Mm -hmm. My other brother. Favorite comedian? My other brother. I have his number. My dad. Favorite comedian? Who? Kevin Hart. Okay, I'm going to ask you again. Favorite comedian? Uh, Roddy Dangerfield. Uh, I'm going you. Favorite comedian? A comedian? Yeah. Ooh. That's a good one. Amy Schumer's great. Okay. Ask me my favorite wrestler. Who is your favorite wrestler? Oh, well, my favorite wrestler that let me down and quit wrestling is John Cena. Man, thanks. Now, who's your favorite comedian? George Carlin was great. I have, I have, I have disbelief that you don't know. Let me see what's called. I have disbelief that you don't know my name. Yeah, I'm talking to John Cena right now. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah, it's John Cena. It's crazy, right? Yeah. You know, what, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Uh, I do teeth for a living. And what did I used to do? What did you used to do? Yeah. Do teeth? Told you. I didn't say you were a liar. 
Okay, you blinked. Okay, I'm gonna call you right back. You, Doctor Rose. That's like that's Doctor Rose. If you don't think I'm, I'm, you put some tough constraints on me there. I used to do T for a long time, bro. Did you enjoy it? Nah, I quit. Cool. All right. Yeah. It's a favorite comedian. It's tough. Uh, a lot of good ones out there. Uh, they out here. I'm more of a, more of a. Okay, my window's the '80s. Richard Pryor. Oh, what about upcoming comedian? Uh, Andrew Santino's in the movie. They get some fires. Mick Fowler's in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of great people in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Those guys, they tickle my funny bones from time yeah. to time, you know. Yeah, yeah but favorite comedian. <laughs> yeah. Upcoming comedian. Yeah. That you haven't shot a movie with, that you should shoot a movie with. Whew. I don't know. Oh. Uh, Shane, what's that? Shane, Shane Gillis, that guy? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I always want to work with Bill Burr. Yeah. Yeah. Who else you wanted to work with? I don't, I don't want to round out that list. Right. Yeah. List but you never know. I mean, right? It can change. I mean, anybody else? Not that I can think of. Honestly. Oh, shit. Question. Sure. When people say, why was it, why, when people say, uh, when people say, why me, do you feel like they selfish? Because they probably saying this shit happened to somebody else. Hmm. That's not the perspective I get from that. I don't get the people are selfish. So if my food dropped right now and me and you in the room and I say, why me? And you the only one with food, who else could I be talking about? Um, the, the entire universe. Me and you in a room with plates, my plate for all. And I yes. say, why me? Yes. And I look you dead in your face. Who yeah. could I be talking about? So there may be a lot more context. that may not just be about the food. You can't be shitting me right now. If me and you in the, just me and you eating lunch. Sure. Oh, let's make this better. Me and you are in prison. My food drops. And I look at you and say, why me? Mm -hmm. Anybody but me. Yeah. I wouldn't think you're selfish. Like I said, there's a lot of layers to that. You may not be talking specifically about the food. That might just be another bad thing that's happened. Maybe you're wrongfully accused, wrongfully incarcerated. Maybe you feel like the world's against you for some reason. You know? So it might be it might be that final event that you're like, ah, why me? Why does all the bad stuff happen to me? So it's, it's cool, man. I, I see where you're coming from. I just look at it through a different lens. It's fine. It's, All right. It's a... I know whistling on the channel. Please. You got it. Your rules, your show. Yeah. I try to do, I try to stop a lot of shit for the kids. Yeah. And whistling is one. Please don't fucking whistle. You got it, man. I, I just did it. Fucking kids that watch this channel. You're right. I didn't, uh, I didn't smart. That's one thing they shit. should not look up to is whistling. Somebody who whistles. That is bullshit. It is. So, I'm going to watch the movie. Cool. And I'm going on a date. Okay. Which girl should I take with me? I got two of them. Okay. One of them got kids. Okay. One of them got a boyfriend, but they're not together. Okay. They're breaking up. Okay. Which one should I take? Got to take the one without kids just because we're hardcore R. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot more than whistling in there. Yeah. Catch my drift. I piss myself. But the boyfriend she's breaking up with can fight. I piss myself. Right now? No. In the movie. I'm gonna take the uh, I'm, I'm gonna take that part out. I know. I was just saying that it happens. It's, it happens in the movie. You don't want your kids seeing that. So Or your girls' kids seeing that. Yeah. When you put on the other end, do you swipe up or swipe down? Up and down. But where do you start, up or down? Depends. Okay, and what deodorant do you use? A combination, it depends on the day. Wow. Is and it you, a brand that you use specifically? Uh, honestly, it depends on the occasion. Something like today would be like a more clinical strength because I'm in a three piece in Miami and you're gonna sweat. Mm -hmm. So as long as I can take the sweat out of here, keep it in here, it looks like I pissed myself. You? Up swipe or down swipe?
I like to do side by side. Side by side? I can go up. It's unique and then go a certain brand? No degree, because I don't got one. Doesn't seem like you need one. You're doing all right. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> it's a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I like, one thing about me, I don't need a degree. Uh, so, <clears throat> hold on, let me read this. If you, if you had to pick one, hold on, if you had to pick one and let one go, oh my God. I would say they can't spell, but I wrote this. If you had to pick, if you had to pick one and keep one, what would you keep and what would you let one of the keep on you? What do you think? Okay, so what I'm hearing is if, if I had a choice to pick one and keep one, which one would I keep and exactly. which one would I pick? Probably that one. I don't know that's a good answer. I want to say, I wouldn't have thought you said that. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Do you got, what type of haircuts do you get? What type of haircuts do I get? Yeah. Not much lately. I mean, there's not much up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just kind of like, hey, tell me when it's time. To... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting there. Would you consider that you do have a hairline or no? I mean, I think every everyone does. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think mine's mine's fighting back. Mm -hmm. Mine yeah. too. Yeah. Would huh? you ever go bald? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think so. the rock gonna say you took his style. I would be at peace with that. Mm. I'm okay with that. It's a nice style. He wears it very well. Yeah. 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 I enjoy sitting down and talking to you. I feel like I learned so much about you. Well, feel... you already did your research. I feel like you came in fully armed with the facts. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you pitched yourself on the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not on the interview. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, who knows? I can't feel anything down there. Because it's crazy. I can't even see who I'm talking to. I know. Right. So many people are going to be like, he just interviewed a chair. Right. Right. <laughs> really him. Yeah. And I'm just listening to the voice. And then you got the, the whole digitized thing and the, the deep voice thing. That's going to be pretty cool when it comes together. What's your favorite interview you've done? You know, this one's not it. But I'm here. This is the, this is the most recent one I've done. So that... I mean, points. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. Yeah. You used to be my favorite wrestler, too. I understand. You I understand. know what you are now? Probably a big number two. No, you're not. You're not my favorite wrestler no more. It's Undertaker. He's good. Yeah, he is. Why did Legacy that? He's better than John Cena. He, I, a lot of people would say that. Yep. Me, including me. You included. You, you just joined that camp. Yep. Strong argument there. Brock Lesnar, too. Brock is... Man, he's a specimen. I had a lot of shorts. Yeah, I bought he, a lot of blue shorts and headbands because of who? John Cena. That's a that's a pretty big spend on somebody who's not your favorite wrestler. Yeah. Now it just happened at this moment. Happened at this moment. Yeah, I understand. Well, yeah. Used to be the neighborhood hero. We discussed that the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, but well, you're not the neighborhood hero no more. I understand. Well, it's, you know, either, either die a hero or stay around long enough to be a villain, right? He was the first rapper that did one song and quit. Um, I don't know if I'm the first. Uh, no. Definitely are. Okay, cool. Tupac got a lot of songs. He does. He does. Can you name one Tupac song? No. Wow. Dear Mama. I'm going to ask you over. Can you name one Tupac song? I can't. Dear Mama, can you name one Tupac song? Nothing comes to mind. Oh, no, God. It's, it's, it's so many hits, but nothing's coming to mind. I know. Dear Mama is one of them. Is one of what? Uh, Brenda has a baby. All right, I'm going to ask you over. She does? Yeah. No, that's, oh, God. That's one of his songs. Whose songs? Tupac. Tupac? Yes. Right on. All right, so, oh, man. The fact that Tupac is your favorite rapper, could you just name two of his songs? I so many hits, I just can't think of any time. Dear Mama and Brenda Has a Baby. I, oh man, the fact that Tupac is your favorite rapper, just name one of his songs. I mean, I, I just can't think of any. What is this, uh, uh, same song in California Love? Does that work? Yeah, that does. Cool. 
What's the artist you listen to when you get in the car? I don't necessarily listen to music in the car. Just thoughts. Did you stop listening to Ja Rule? I did. I did, because because that, uh, again, again, I don't really listen to music in the car. So I did. That's good. Was there anything you want to tell your fans and supporter before we leave? Uh, well. Oh, you can look at the camera, not me. <laughs> I'm not a I know, I was was about to say, I I, I thank you for the time to talk to them. No, not me. You definitely lost that. Uh, I wasn't part of your favorite comedian. I understand. For sure. Uh, Upcoming, you you don't even want to do a movie with me. I understand we've severed our connection. Uh, And I'm, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, do you mind looking at the camera? You're looking at me. But I wanted to thank you for your time. Oh, Uh, thank you for your time. Because even though we don't have a connection anymore, you were still willing to do the interview and same like, to you I'm because very, you very, got a lot of things to be doing grateful for that. you got a lot of comedians to hang out with i'm not one of them so if you don't mind telling your fans something about you and just let them know how you're feeling and you can look at the camera that's your camera look look at uh, this one yeah uh oh, look shit. at this one no that's my camera that's this the, the that's the wide shot that's your shot right there this one uh okay that one's right there this one down okay. the barrel just right do down. what you want do it. it's your world do what, I, do what I want? Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. So the fact that he's done what he want, uh, I'm here. And I want you guys to go check out the movie. It's definitely going to be number one. And I really feel heartbroken because I was happy to meet him because it was really, it was really, it was really, it was something I looked up to. I watched wrestling. I watched only SmackDown because... I only watched SmackDown because of him, and I just got SmackDown. Oh, maybe that didn't sound right. I just, well, he, I'm not, oh God. <laughs> he doesn't, I'm not his favorite comedian, and I think he did not even know who I was.